Hello, everyone. May the good Lord bless you and guide you in Jesus' name. Today, we are going to pray. Pray against coverings of the enemy. Evil covering. There are some people that the evil spirits are covering from your blessings, giving you rag as dress or as garments. You will walk and walk and walk. You're not seeing anything. You will have a good grade, a good qualifications, but there is no job for you. There are people, whenever they travel out or go to their village or to their home town, they will not come back again. And whenever they come back, they develop some sicknesses that is not good. And those things are evil coverings the enemy is covering you and sometimes when somebody is telling you that this thing is happening to you is wrong you will not believe it because it's a covering unless you pray and hand everything over to god with sincerity you know there are some people their prayers they feel it's not working because the enemy is covering your prayers covering everything you do there are some people they are destined that you will never get rich in your life so this is why child of god you must pray you will not do anything that praying to god god created you and everything around you he knows so this is why i said let us do this prayer that Almighty God will have mercy on us and remove evil coverage from our life, from our family. Whatever we are doing, we will be saved in Jesus' name. Amen. So my dear brothers and sisters, we are going to hand this over to God Almighty. Because there is no other means you are going to overthrow the plans of the enemy. Even if you are using some certain things, one day they will fail. But the word of God cannot fail. Prayer can never fail. So I want you, as you go inside this prayer, you have faith. That this evil covering, covering your business, covering your progress, covering your destiny will be stopped immediately and you'll be free in Jesus name. Amen. And the word of God says in the book of Isaiah 25 verse 7, it says, and he will destroy on this mountain the surface of the covering cast over all people and the veil that is spread over all nations. Hallelujah. On this mountain, he would destroy the veil that enfolds all peoples. Anything that the enemy used to cover you. Do you know that these evil people can cover a whole nation? The nation will not move forward. The nation will be scattered. Trouble everywhere. This is why it's very important for everybody to pray and leave everything in the hand of God. The word of God said that we are going to pray. A veil is an article of clothing worn almost exclusively by women that is intended to cover some part of the head or face. One view is that as a religious item, it is indeed to show honor to an object or space. So, some some of these things may become like cloth but spiritual it's not like that it's not like that so many destinies many people's destinies and lives have been shrouded and covered up in veils shrouding suggests that the burial cloth used to wrap up dead bodies in the olden days something that is shrouded or veil discovered wrapped hidden 
even the most shining glory can be veiled. You have an an eclipse when the moon, as, as small as it is, covers the rays of the great sun. Many women's glory have been veiled. Because of that, you will see a beautiful, successful woman with every other thing working for her, but never having been noticed for once by an admirer. This is evil veil. Even when she does carry a baby, the baby is still born because her glory as a mother has been shrouded as if it were dead spiritually. Today, we are going to deal with it by praying to God and asking God to take preeminence to everything we are going to pray now is just to hand yourself over to God and ask God to remove this evil veil on you. Hallelujah. Amen. Pray this. Every evil covering, cast and veil, threatening to destroy my life, you are over now. In Jesus' name. Amen. And you pray again and say, I receive power to overcome any evil that covers my life in Jesus' name. Then you continue praying. Whatever that you want to pray to God in your heart, you continue doing this prayer. And I want to tell you this. This prayer is very good to pray it by 3 a.m. Yes. It's very good to pray at 3 a.m. I'm not telling you that when you pray at other times, it will not work. But pray at 3 a.m. You will see what will happen. God is going to answer you. And you will be free from any bondage of the enemy. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen.